Good evening. Today is Friday, and we and to have a time for our evening prayer. It's nearly the end of the week, and Mon Saturday and Sunday will be time to rest and be at home. So it will be good to have some time to pray together and say thank you to the Lord for all the week that has passed. So thank, thank you time, um, dedicated a moment to the Lord. <clears throat> oh God, may it speak to save us. O oh Lord, may haste to help us. Hear my prayer, O oh Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplication. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into the judgment with your servant, for in your sign should no one living by justify. My spirit Fain with me, my heart within me is desolate. I stretch out my hand to you. My soul gap for you like a thirsty lamb. O oh Lord, may haste to answer me. My spirit fell me. Hide no you faith from me. Lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear all your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Teach me to do what pleasure you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on the level path. Review me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring me out of trouble. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. It's a beautiful psalm, and that would be our prayer today, to ask him to review us. So review me, O oh Lord, for your name's sake. <clears throat> that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer risen before you, O oh God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our heart and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Today, our first psalm will be 145 and the gospel reading will be Luke chapter 18 verse 1 to 8. <clears throat> but we're going to continue our reading in the prayer before the first psalm to read. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O oh my God. May help to help me, O oh Lord, my salvation. Be not far from me, O oh my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O oh Lord. Be not far from me, O oh my God. Psalm 145. Psalm 145. <clears throat> Great is the Lord, on highly to be praised. I will serve you, O God, my King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will, I bless you, and I praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and a higher to be praised. His greatness is beyond all searching out. One generation should praise your word to another and declare your mighty act. They should speak to the majesty of your glory. And I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. They should speak 
of the mighty of the marvelous act. And I will also tell of your greatness. greatness. They should pour forth of the history of abundant kindness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long suffering and great goodness. The Lord is loving to everyone and his mercy is over all his creatures. All you work praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servant bless you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your mighty power to make known to all people your mighty act and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures through all age. The Lord is sure in all his work and faithful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds those who fall and lift up all those who are the bound down. Amen. That is Psalm 145 from verse 1 to 15. The Lord is sure in all his work and faithful in all his deeds. Amen. It's amazing. We, we're going to read now our parable for today. Then is in Luke chapter 18 from verse 1 to 8. <clears throat> Then Jesus told them a parable about the, the need to pray always and not to lose heart. He said, in certain city, there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city, there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, grant me justice again my opponents. For a while he refused, but later he said to himself, though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow kid bothering me, I will grant her justice so that she may not wear me out by constantly coming. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust just say, and I will not God and will not God grant justice to his chosen one who cry to him day and night. Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will quickly grant justice to them, and yet when the Son of Man come, will he find faith? on the air. <clears throat> uh, here we have a, a woman that persisting in prayer, persisting, and someone that don't lose in her hope and faith. She was asking a favor to a person with authority. She was asking someone that have all the authority but not a good person and no fear to God. But she was a vulnerable woman. She was a widow. She was alone. Maybe the children was small. She didn't have no one. So she gave uh, you know, strong and, and she was persistent, acting. She didn't stop. She was a strong, forceful enough to get the justice than she demanded. Now, the man was a bad man. And he recognized that he don't have fear of God. But he was, you know, tired to hear that woman all the time come to him. Make justice to me. She got her petition because she was persistent. She doesn't stop. She doesn't go tired. So she got what she was looking for. Her faith was bigger than her situation. 
her faith was bigger than her situation. She was a widow, maybe without money, without someone that representing her, but everything she got in prayer and she got it. When Jesus telling that to the disciples, he, he said to them, look at, the guy was a bad judge. He was a bad person. And even though he decided to do a good thing for her, imagine God that is all good, all almighty, all wonderful, all kindness, all compassion. He will be here as. He, he said, my chosen one, you are the chosen one. Don't give up. Still praying, still believing. God is going to answer you. You only need to persist it because God is good. He is a good God. He's going to answer you. Persist it. Persist it. Don't give up. Don't stop to pray and say, oh no, I have been praying so long, I so long, so much. No, still praying. Because God is good and he's going to answer to us. He's going to answer. He's going to answer because he's a good God. We were reading in the psalm. His goodness, his kindness is so high. He loves us and he's going to answer us. I need to repeat that to myself. I need to, to continue to pray for my dream. I need to continue to pray and God is going to bless me because he's saying he's good. God don't lie. He don't, he's, he's sure, he's, his word is forever. It's when he say he's going to do, he do. So believe and be like that woman. Be persistent, be persistent. Go every day every day and the door of the heaven will be open for us because god is good don't allow your problem be bigger than god don't allow that your problem be bigger than your faith let your faith growing and believe then if you persisted every day prayer god is going to answer us Every day we have in a WhatsApp of the church, many people asking for prayer for different things. And we pray, we pray, and we have so many answers, many answers. If he, any answer is not coming yet, wait, because we are still praying, we are still believing, because we need to be persistent in prayer. That is my word for today, my reflection for today. Persistent. Don't allow your problem be bigger than your faith. God is ready to answer you. Now we, we're going to pray and we're going to continue praying in front of God. And we're going to watch him together. And we're going to give him all our life to him and, and dedicate our lives to him. Heal us, O oh God, from all our affliction and keep us steadfast in your love. Beat up our wood, rise us from death, and lead us to fullness of life through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Let's pray together now and asking Him then. Help us to grow in our faith. Then our faith growing. We need faith to continue to be persistent. Don't stop to pray. Lord, we're asking you today. We're asking you today that you, you're giving us faith. You say that if we're asking you, you're giving to us. And we're asking you faith today because we want to be like that widow. We want to be persistent. We want to have faith to wake up every day and go to you and asking you, please have mercy on us. Please have mercy on the situation. Please heal in our family. Please heal ourselves. Please heal our city. We want to have faith enough to stand every day and pray. Every day 
and pray. I'm persisting, I'm persisting. Lord, we need you in our life. And you, Lord, are a God of goodness, God of kindness, God that answered us, Lord. Lord, I pray for faith, faith for our community, faith for our church, faith that we can continue, Lord, praying to you, knowing that if we knock, you're going to open. If we knock, you're going to open, Lord. Because you say, knock, and I'm going to open the door. And I pray today, Lord, that whatever people is passing through today, you are opening door for our church, for our community in St. Matthew, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you are opening door for us. Because you are our God. And you are our God forever. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. Thank you. We want to continue to pray to you with the worship song. We want to worship. We want to say thank you to you. We want to give our life to you, Lord, because you are everything that we need. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. We pray, Lord. Amen. <laughs>
let's pray the Lord prayer. The prayer that he teach us how to do. And pray knowing that everything, everything that we're asking him, he's going to give into us. He say, asking my father in heaven. Our father who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Giving us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Same be to God. I hope and my prayer that you finish the day with a special moment with God. And you have a special moment and let your faith grow. Let your faith grow. Because so many, so many things will be happening when you pray because God answered your prayer because he's a good God. God bless you.